Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a special video for you or I guess something different than I normally record. But I've been doing a lot of online shopping and I have a few more orders coming in from companies that reached out to me. Oh, hair. So I wanted to share with you how I buy clothes online without being able to try it on. It's not easy, I know that. So I wanna share with you. There's notes involved. I had to get my thoughts together on the process. I guess it would have made sense if I had my page open. So here's the thing. When, and I'm just gonna give you a little background. For me and these are just some observations I've made. Nothing is written in stone. Nothing is proven. It's just thoughts that I have. So I do a test fitting for Lane Bryant. Lane Bryant headquarters is here in Columbus. I'm a test fitter. And what does that mean is I've been in, this, in their home office multiple times. I get measured. I get photographed. Um, and they determined by my measurements and Lane Bryant sizing chart, what size clothing I would wear at Lane Bryant. What is my perfect fit by my measurements? And they take lots of them. And then what happens is they design clothing to fit the sizes and the shape that they're trying to go for. I'm an apple shape. So when they're creating something for an apple shape, I usually get called to do a test fit for pants, shirts, and then I also do cacique, which is their bras and underwear line and their intimate apparel. So that's how Lane Bryant does it. And I assume most merchants that are designing clothes for specific sizes, they don't, they measure the body and they create the clothes to fit those measurements. So then let's say they're looking for size 14, 16 pants and they call me and I try them on and I tell them how it fits and then I report back and then I get to keep the clothing that I tried on. That's how it works. Now with the online stores, Shein um, for an example, because that was the last store that I, I ordered and tried on. There's two others that I will have coming up. Light in the Box is one and Luna Wave I think is the other one. I feel like they do theirs a little differently. They are purchasing pre-made clothing. So they're not designing, they're purchasing pre-made clothing. They are measuring the clothing and they're assigning it a size. That's the best I can come up with with how they're doing it. And by measuring, I mean, if you read their stuff, they're literally taking this shirt and they're gonna measure from armpit to armpit and they're gonna call that the chest. They're gonna measure from the armpit to the side and they're gonna call that the length. They're gonna measure the hip on a finished garment. Finished garment. I'm wearing a shirt from Shein. This is a finished garment. That's the best I can come up with with how this is working. And there doesn't seem to be a rhyme or reason even within the, its own company. Example, I'm looking at this, this company called Luna Wave to pick out some clothing to order. And I took my personal measurements. Now, I can show you how I measure myself here in a minute. But I took my personal measurements and I said, okay, well, my bust is this. And mostly they have our shirts. So I said, okay, I like this shirt. So then I go down and I look at the measurements for bust. And I'm like, okay, and this shirt, I'm a 2X. But I can tell you that in the same store, I picked out four shirts that are anywhere from a 2X to a 5X. So I'm not sure the rhyme or reason. So I think that reality is we're going to a, a world where we can order things online, but you gotta know your body, your body type, and how best to do that. So the first thing is you need a tape measure, not like a, a tape measure that you would use for woodworking. Those are metal. This is a flexible plastic tape measure because you need to measure some, some important measurements on your body. So the first measurement is your bust. You take this tape measure 
you go around and you go to the thickest part of your bust and you hold the tape measure here and you say, and then you drop it and you're like, okay, well my bust, I happen to know is 48 inches around. Now I'm gonna stand up, your waist. Your waist is not here. Your waist is where you bend. So I'm gonna bend. And where the crease is, that my waist is very is high. My I have a very high waist. So my crease is here. This is where I would measure my waist. This is not where I wear my pants, by the way, but this is where I measure my waist. My hips are down here on your actual hip bones. I wear my pants here because that's just where they fit me most comfortably. But I still need to have these specific measurements. Another measurement you would not like to have is from your armpit down your side to your waist and maybe your leg inseam. Now, because I've been measured and certain things don't change, I know my inseam is 27 inches. I know that. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now, is it easy to measure yourself? No. Is it 100% accurate? Again, no. Just get yourself a general idea. Then the second thing I would do, if you're wanting to order some clothes online, because let's be honest, we're getting some great deals from these companies, but how do you know what to order, you know? So pull out your favorite shirt that fits you the best. You feel beautiful in this shirt and measure it because this is literally what they're doing. I showed you, they're laying the, and I read it on their website. So I know this one, Shein, I think it was, they're laying the shirt down on the ground and they're taking these measurements and that's how they're, and they're signing it a size. So don't look at the size. The size doesn't mean much at this point. What, me me Ugh. <laughs> what matters is the measurements. And I'll show you an example right here, somewhere around here, you know, that one store, one X means this, another store means that, it just, there's no rhyme or reason, so you can't really go by that. You have to go by your measurements. So what I would do is say, take my favorite shirt, measure it out. Measure across the bust. Measure from the armpit to the side. Measure your pants. Pants are a little harder, I know that, but if you want to order them. That's what I would do, and that's what I do. And that's how I'm able to order clothes. At Shein, I used the same process, and I ordered five shirts and only one was too big and I kind of knew it was gonna be a problem, but I just wanted to try because I liked the shirt. So take that for what it's, you know, for what it's worth. And I will tell you these tape measures, if you don't have one, they sell them at the Dollar Tree. If you don't wanna go get one, take a ribbon, like grow gain ribbon, something that doesn't have any stretch. Measure yourself, mark it on the ribbon, and then take your tape measure for your garage and lay the ribbon out flat and measure it that way. I mean, there's a million ways to measure yourself, but you do need to measure yourself in order to, I would say, order things online. Now, um, what I would say too, I was making sure I covered everything I wanted to, and I did. What I would tell you is, also with these stores, you wanna find out what their return policy is. So you don't wanna order some clothing and get it to your house and find out you have to return it to China at your expense or return it who knows where. So you really want to figure out the return policy and how you do your return. So with Shein, I knew before I ordered, you can return, but they have a fun return policy. So if I ordered, the package I received had 10 things in it, and I tried on all 10 shirts, and then I decided I only was gonna take one back. So I went online, and it was super easy. I did the return, you have to have a printer. I printed the return label, and I taped it to my bag, and I sent it back, and I already have my refund. Easy peasy. The problem with Shein is, let's say then I tried on some other stuff and I decided I don't really like this shirt and I'm gonna return this shirt separate. Now I have to pay for shipping because they are only gonna allow me per purchase one return at their cost. So if I decided later on that this shirt, I just wasn't gonna keep it and I wanted to return it to them, then I would have to pay, I think $8 shipping. So you just wanna make sure and that you read, read the fine print. If it says like 
with Shein, I could have gotten a store credit or I could have gotten, I asked for them to put it back on the same, the same form of payment that I used to purchase it. You know, that's important for me. I didn't want a store credit, but if I didn't select anything, it would automatically be a store credit. So you just want to make sure you're reading and you're measuring yourself and yeah, I mean, it's super fun for $10 t-shirts and stuff like this that you can't get at the stores necessarily. It's really fun. And the same thing goes with Amazon. If you're on Amazon, there's a lot of international sellers on Amazon now and you really need to read the fine print with the return policy. Some things on Amazon, you can just return easy peasy. Some things are not as easy. So you just want to make sure you're, you know, you're reading your directions, but I would say have fun with it. Go online, find some good deals. People are showing you all this stuff. And I know it's scary. It was scary for me. Trust me. I would, it took me a good month of looking on the Shein website to, to decide that, okay, I can do this. Just go for it. And I, I was, you know, pleasantly surprised with what came in the mail. We'll see what these other two shops send me. I will definitely do a try on haul for you and show you what they sent me. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful for you and you feel you have the confidence to go online and maybe find yourself some fun things for summer. All right, have a good one. I'll talk to you later.